So I just wanted to come in and talk about it a little bit. Um, this month's taste buds. So what you get is you get three recipes. And the seasonings that go with them. And so this month, um, it's savory summer theme. Well, it's, it, this is the July one that I got on the first of the month. Um, we have roasted shrimp salad, carnitas, nachos, and Korean barbecue chicken spears. And tonight for supper, we're trying the um, Korean nachos. Um, so I, this is my third my subscription, and I am super happy with it. They give you alternative ideas of what to do with the seasoning, and there's always more seasoning than what you need for one meal. Um, so, the other months that I have right here are um, one of the months the theme was a barbecue theme, and um, it came with the two new summer barbecues, the Carolina and um, Kansas City, and then our regular smoky barbecue rub. And we did the flank steak with the potato hash. It was super yummy. Um, and then this other one is a summery Southwest <laughs> theme. So we have Southwestern fried rice, salt of the burger bowl, salt of the border burger, and a beef burrito bowl. And yeah, like I said, each month it comes with the packet so you can make those meals. And then like, even on the back of this one I'm doing today, um, it gives you options. So if you want like a pork, a pork free idea, um, it tells you that you can use black beans and then how to prepare those to substitute. Um, right now I'm cutting up a, um, a pork tenderloin. So my tenderloin came a two pound loin and I only need one pound. I'm going to prepare uh, the meat. All of the meat, so then um, the next time I come around to make this meal, my, my meats are already ready. Um, so that'll be really helpful on weeknights when we're pressed for time. Um, so right now I'm cutting up my meat into approximately one inch cubes, and I'm going to get my frying pan oil heated up back here. Um, and after I get all of this meat cut, I'm going to dice up some onions. And there's that knife. I I got everything ready. So this is my coated sand toku knife. I'm just going to throw it under the food chopper for a couple of, couple of presses. So, I want it to finely chop. So, we're going to heat those up in the oil. And then I mix my seasoning with my pork. And then if I do that, I'll come back. So, 
I just put in my one and a half yeah. tablespoons of the creative seasoning. Mm -hmm. I still have a ton of seasoning left. So what is the remote? Um, I think we did like this like okay. two or three more times. Um, So now my onions are soft, and I'm gonna add my quarter. Um, I'm using my twelve inch cast iron skillet like this, and um, these are like how it feels to me. I'm just gonna sear this on all sides. And this will take about 7 to 10 minutes. Um, and then my meat will be ready. Now my meat is finishing up. I'm gonna get the next stuff ready. So I'm just I'm getting some lime juice here to add with three tablespoons of um, orange juice. I'm using my citrus press and I'm still using the same Santoku knife and I'm um, getting it ready in the one prep, one prep, one cup prep bowl. Shredding here, I'm going to uh, put my three tablespoons of orange juice and the squirt of the lime with the meat back into um, the cast iron, and I'm going to cook it down for three minutes to seal in all those flavors. So then I sprinkle the chips on. Rock, rock. You could do this on a sheet pan. And then it will stay in the door. Yep, and we'll get you both squished in a minute. Actually, yeah, relax. You don't need to squish right now because we're going to be eating soda soon. I'm going to get my chips on there. I'm going to sprinkle. Till it is um, 
melted on top. And let's see, what temperature is my oven set at? 375? 